नेक्स्ट अप इज टेंशन टाइप हेड एक विच आई थिंक इज वन ऑफ द इजिएस्ट वन टू क्रैक इन अ क्वेश्चन द वे द क्वेश्चन वुड बी डिस्क्राइब ऑफ अ टाइट बैंड लाइक कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द फोर हेड ऑफ द पेशेंट विद सम कैट ऑफ स्ट्रेसेज इन पर्सनल लाइफ एंड द क्वेश्चन विल इट्स ट्राई टू रूल आउट अदर कॉजेज लाइक रिफ्रैक्शन एरर्स दैट कैन कॉज अ हेड एक और ही मैंशन दैट साइनोसाइटिस हज बिन रूल्ड आउट बैक्स बाई पैरामिजल साइनस इज इवन द बी पी ऑफ द पेशेंट मैट बी मैंशन इन अ क्वेश्चन हाइपर टेंशन हज बिन रूल्ड आउट सो इफ द एग्जामिनर इज हिमसेल्फ ट्राइंग टू रूल आउट सम कॉमन कॉजेज दैट कैन कॉज हेड एक और फ्रंटल हेड एक इन अ पेशेंट एंड देन डिस्क्राइब सम कैंड ऑफ अ पर्सनल स्ट्रेस फॉलोइंग विच दिस पर्टिकुलर पेशेंट इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग अ बायोलैट्रल टाइट बैंड लाइक कंस्ट्रक्शन and some patients might even tie a piece of cloth over their head and tell you that i mean the pain is so bad that i'm trying to you know take a piece of cloth and trying to tighten it because it makes me feel relatively better so this tight band like constriction on the forehead of the patient is the usual feature that is encountered in patients who are suffering from tension type headache the intensity of headache might actually vary sometimes it might so happen that person might say to you that this headache that i was having i took a painkiller and i got relieved within half to hour to one hour and i could sleep comfortably after that and sometimes the intensity can vary to the level that he says that it's been 3 hours after i've taken a painkiller and still he says that the headache is still present so the intensity of headache every time the episode occurs of tension type headache the intensity of headache can be variable in a sense that sometimes you get a fast response to painkiller sometimes you may got a get a poor response to a painkiller as far as the pain frequency is concerned you will be asking the patient to maintain a pain diary in which he has to note down his symptoms including the date and the time when the headache occurred you will notice that when you evaluate the pain diary of a patient most of the time it's going to be episodic but sometimes it might be chronic tension type headache also chronic definition is that the number of attacks that have been experienced by a patient are for more than 15 days per month and that would mean that you might have to decide to start prophylaxis in this particular patient because if half of the month a person is not going to be able to do his household chores or routine daily activity because of the illness it will hamper the personal and the professional life of this patient tension type headache is usually occurring without the standard features that we have read with respect to pound pound was another mnemonic that i mentioned for migraine so the usual features i mean it's going to be a band like constriction it is usually without that nausea vomiting there will be no phonophobia described in this question there would be no photophobia described in this question there would be no osmophobia described in the question which we had spoken about with respect to a person of migraine during the headache phase similarly in migraine i said that there could be aggravation of the headache with the neck movements of a patient that may or may not be present in these patients why tension type headache occurs for migraine we were still having various theories available but uh, the textbook says that the exact cause for development of tension type headache is not known to us as of today as far as the management of a attack of tension type headache is concerned a lot of patients may be doing self medication by buying a, a over the counter painkiller and it would be working in majority of cases like acetaminophen if we give triptans to patients who are having tension type headache we will find that triptans are not useful during a uh, attack i mean for abortive treatment we will not be able to get any improvement in condition especially if a person of tension type headache is given a triptan now i would like to add a if here the if is that some patients could be having a combination of tension type headache with migraine yes you will get a small subset of patients this subset of patients on some days they will be telling you regarding the characteristic pound that is pulsatile headache one day headache like unilateral disabling in character and he describes that feature that i feel as if one side of my head is pulsating on other days he just puts his hands like this and he says like this that there's somebody tied a piece of cloth and is trying to tighten it so band like constriction so combination of the two is also possible if the combination of the two is possible then triptans will be working i mean where are triptans useful in a patient with tension type headache that not in a case of plain tension type headache it is in combination of tension type headache with migraine that is where the triptans are found to be useful and the last point for this video would be that if a person is having chronic tension type headache which i described where a person would be having for 15 days a month there would be headache present which is hampering his personal and professional life then uh, the only proven treatment only proven treatment 
for chronic tension type headache is amitriptyline tryptophan is the common brand name that you use even in sciatica patients so with gabapentin where you're not having a improvement you are tryptophan you start getting improvement the same molecule 10 mg can be started even in patients having a tension type headache but only if it is of the chronic variety so these are the details that i would like you to remember for this topic and subsequently i'll be describing a trigeminal autonomic cephalgias where you see a characteristic feature which is that the pain will be mainly concentrated along the distribution of of the v1 branch that is the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve and we'll be talking about cluster headache and then paroxysmal hemicrania or suna or sun city also you will notice that the peak onset of headache when it comes to migraine or tension type headache it will come after usually one to one and a half hour but when it comes to patients who are having a presence of trigeminal autonomic cephalgias, the peak onset of headache can be attained as early as 15 minutes. So one, the onset of a severity of headache would be relatively earlier in trigeminal autonomic cephalgias and even the duration will be shorter. In migraine, the shortest attack I told you was four hours and you will notice that in the subsequent video of trigeminal autonomic cephalgias, the total duration of headache episodes will be relatively shorter. Plus, obviously, there would be autonomic features like increase of parasympathomimetic activity like watering from the eye or ear fullness nasal stuffiness experienced by a patient there might be decreased sympathomimetic drive so tosis can be experienced by certain patients so autonomic involvement will definitely be there and that would help you in easy differentiation but even the a peak intensity of headache achieved by a patient, the total duration of attack would help you in differentiating between migraine tension type headaches versus trigeminal autonomic cephalgias which are discussed in the subsequent video. So thank you so much for hearing me out. Keep the pressure on, keep working and as I say always keep hammering and you will definitely get on to your next uh, goal as well you've already you know i would say jumped over the bigger obstacles but there's one more left so you can jump over that as well you have the physical capability the mental capability as you approve so it's just that realizing your inner potential and trying to uh you know just push yourself after doing a duty when you're really tired and you're putting that extra effort to push yourself by listening to this video i mean if you keep on doing this i'm very sure you'll get to your desired goal subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder